Hey, what's up guys? This is your boy Marco Track. I know it's been a while since I uploaded a video on this channel and just want to make a little quick update before the year ends. Crazy, that's already December 31st. And the reason why I haven't been uploading a lot is because I've been taking a little break from DV Caddy. Actually just spending a little time on some of the finances I'm helping with my family as well as my own personal growth. And recently, if you don't know, you know the business model for DV Caddy is actually coaching. So I coach one-on-one -on -one clients. And But recently I felt that I haven't been resonating as much as I used to in that direction so i took a pause and really reflected okay why why i started dv caddy in the first place the direction i want to um, help drive it forward and what aligns with my sole purpose the most so i've been taking some time just to reflect you know sometimes the best thing to do when you don't feel inspired to do something is just to do nothing at all and in that meditative state and just following what makes uh what's fun and the bliss right so that's why I haven't uh, been doing that a lot. But actually, because I've taken that break, I got some new direction. I uh, might start a podcast with Diego, my buddy, um, that you might know from the first episode of Conscious Conversations. And also have a little bit better understanding of, okay, what would DV Caddy be if I'm going to start another podcast that talks about like these big issues like how to solve world hunger, how to create a new renewable blockchain based kind of uh, city. So that's more like based on the outer, you know, changing the uh, phys physical world. But perhaps DV Caddy, you know, the vibe being, I want to like position it as more of a personal development brand focus on the inside. So see, I have a lot of things that's still meriting in my mind, but one thing for sure this is still my baby this is some still something i'm gonna keep pursuing so uh before i kind of go on off a tangent i just want to thank everybody that has watched uh this youtube channel has subscribed this year we went from i think 51 subscribers <clears throat> to right now 144 so you know double the growth more than that um triple the growth so very grateful and i've actually done 60 sessions of coaching uh 60 coaching sessions for my clients so um whoever you are thank you you know who you are um just putting that trust in me to help coach you so i hope uh this year through my coaching through my videos through my podcast it has impacted you in some form or way i've so created uh three workshops this year so basically i just took some time to reflect on kind of like the milestones i've hit this year and because sometimes you know i feel oh my god like i'm still not there yet i'm still uh you know not within the expectation that i've set last year and that's like a conditional validation right like if you watch my latest video it talks about unconditional love that's one thing that i've been helping uh, i've been kind of working on a little bit how to be unconditionally happy unconditionally loving to myself so right now you know i don't have much expectation but more based on intention so going to next year i just hope you know i find my intention is to uh collab with more people work with more awesome people because what i learned is that uh you know i break down the process i mean like this the way i think about kind of pursuing my dreams right it's like passion what am i what, what is my strengths what i'm really interested in that and then next it would be purpose and then next after i know my purpose what's the picture so what's the if i actually actualize this purpose how would it look like how would the vision look like and then i'm gonna kind of think about some path to that um picture so if i want to go there you know there's route a b and c which route really aligns with me the most and then once I identified the path, then I come up with a plan to execute uh, the path. And then I step into the process. So what is a day-to-day -day looking like? What's the more micro activities? And then uh, recently, what I, after some conversations, yeah, actually yesterday, um, talking to some people, I actually understand that I, I added two more P's, which are people and peace. So people is like who can actually help you in this journey as well. So that's why collaboration is so important. And I found that, you know, just brainstorming with Diego, so much more ideas come through me, so much inspiration comes through. And lastly, it's like 
peace. Are you in peace when you do it? Are you happy? That's also what's very important, you know? Um, there's no point in like achieving this high ideal if you're not really enjoying the life. Um, so yeah, I just really, this is I guess like kind of like a reflection slash a uh, little kind of wrap up for the year. And I think moving forward to, like let's make a little prediction, right? Like I know what's gone in the world, it seems super, confusing in these kind of times and i think going forward to 2021 um there needs to be more purging going on right so last year i actually talked to one of my buddies here in macau sam that you know like based on the prediction videos i watched from ralph smart he said that something as massive or even uh bigger than 9 11 would happen in 2020 and uh it turns out to be true with you know uh what, what what's happening and I think in next year, I think that's gonna, something needs to like kind of, this year is kind of like the uh, build up and I, I feel there needs to be like an explosion and everything kind of like pops out, like more things gonna be unveiled, right? And then there might be more riots, more protests, uh, more debates, more disagreements. Uh, with people, you know, some people are very stuck in the matrix, believing in whatever the media says. Some people are like starting to question uh, the official narrative and kind of like not dismiss everything, but just kind of like using their critical thinking to ask questions, not just merely absorb and kind of believe everything, right? And we're also entering, we also entered actually in December 21st, 2020, into the age of Aquarius. Um, I don't know too much about it, but basically the energies in the world would shift because we enter that uh period and that's where you know more awakening will happen more it's more about knowing rather than like um it's more like following your intuition a little bit more i feel like people will probably come into our heart space a little bit more be less driven by our egoic minds and things like that so hey you know what like i think we gotta be adaptive, right? This is the great quality of a human being is to just, oh, okay, what's what can I do based on the situation? I know like your travel plans hasn't been working out. I know you got big plans where you wanna do this and that, like me too. And that's why we just gotta like accept the fact that like it is what it is. And then, okay, how can we uh, move forward from this new baseline of reality? And still like, like I feel like one thing that has grounded me a lot this year um especially dealing with my mind which is fairly uh, unstable at times and very based on kind of external circumstances is always going back to gratitude and uh, uh appreciation and looking at what wildlife like what life has offered me you know sometimes i feel like i haven't reached my goals yet and you you have uncertainty about yourself you have doubts about yourself but just know that you know like don't judge yourself too hard like i was just talking to a client today where it's like if you had a partner right a boyfriend or a uh, girlfriend you wouldn't stop loving them just because they didn't do this or that today right you love them for who he or she is wholeheartedly not because he or she does some uh something for you or don't do something for you right it's well some love are some relationships are based on like circumstances but that's not really what love is i feel like uh the true relationship the true healthy ones are really like um unconditional love where you love your partner regardless how uh she he or she is you know uh, during that day right um you embrace the good and the bad but are you doing that for yourself right usually for ourselves we're, we're more harsh on ourselves so we gotta just kind of still give that empathy and still like have a good relationship with ourselves i think and nowadays i don't really expect too much from a lot of people because i, I realize everybody has their own battles to fight uh, a lot of people are kind of dealing with their own mental issues and it's not like a common thing to kind of talk to even your cl closest friends about so like most people like don't even take care of themselves so how can you expect them to have the consciousness to take care of you uh, other people so i'm just saying like just do you like I i'm just trying to do the like you know 
take care of myself you know next year health is gonna be a big theme I've been pushing that off you know kind of dealing with my shoulder injuries my ankle injuries and um, other things like that and so I've spoken to my coach about it and 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 just having that mindset to take care of myself next year don't be uh, like don't take your personal problems and amplify too big it's like every problem is just like an obstacle to go through and and yeah just like keep positive like like be happy like dude be happy in in Cantonese happy means hoi sum hoi sum means open heart so I know the word happy it's like a bit it kind of lost its meaning a little bit like what does it mean like is it happy it's like a ha 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 you know like very based on stimulants and dopamine and like uh, things on the external to excite our internal state you know but I really when I reflect on like when I was the happiest time I was really with my family and there's this fuzzy feeling in my heart I really felt the warmth and so I gotta like tap into what happiness means to you I guess and trying to like realize that that's like it's always in the present moment where we can find that liberation and that truth I guess and we're I guess our mind always projects into the future or into the past it's so hard to be in the present moment and I think one thing that's been helping me this year is just to have more trust in God have more faith have um, knowing that I'm, I'm not in control of everything like I don't have to be I can ask for guidance I can ask for assistance whether that's from spirit whether that's from you know other friends or family whether it's that from my network from other mentors right like not everything has to um be on your shoulders what i'm what is is what i'm trying to say and not everything needs to be perfect until that you can rest in the present moment i like recently went to uh china with some of my friends and i observed that i'm thinking about like bitcoin i'm thinking about my investments i'm thinking about um like what would difficulty be or be not um during my time when i'm with my friends where i couldn't really relax and kind of just be that childish goofy marco check that i know i could be and so what i realized is that again it's not that like conditional rest it's not that conditional fun in my mind it's like i need to achieve x until then i can relax right so i guess you know kobe had this thing where in the playoffs like he didn't celebrate until he um won that nba fi- like uh championship instead of like winning a game in the nba finals but that's an like i feel like the it it really depends what makes you happy like what gives you that satisfaction in life i feel like it's it would be so stupid to live life my whole life feeling that I need to achieve X until I can feel Y and yeah I'm gonna die someday I might die tomorrow and I think death by the way is something that we all need to sort of like understand a little bit more the fact that like holy shit like like you and I are gonna die someday like that's so sobering and that's so anchoring I know like death is a taboo that we don't talk about too much but it, it it's also quite freeing knowing that like we gotta juice the most out of each every single moment and enjoy as much as we can here and so yeah that's that's really all i want to say you know i don't really have too much in my mind planned but just want to thank you for your continuous support whoever you are i just want to become a more authentic version of myself i just want to keep believing more in myself i just want to keep doing good shit for me in the world i just want to keep uh you know pursuing with my purpose love more and hey mom happy new year okay let's go okay all right bye bye <laughs> that was my mom so yeah like just be also be a better son <laughs> and stuff and and speaking about like that right speaking about my mom like I've speak spoken on previous conscious conversations where it's like the time where especially if you're watching this and you're like graduated university or you're about to graduate like 
I have so many friends that are in that stage where they are more educated themselves than their uh, parents and that's super beautiful because that's also a time where we can exchange knowledge with each other that's what I've been doing with my mom and I've so I'm super grateful for her for her trust in me to kind of like help manage our family's finances and stuff like that so I've been there's a lot of responsibility in me and but I think you know I've been doing a good job with that with some of the help with my network and also just you know asking for guidance um, spiritually and also from like online uh, informational mentors and so yeah what I'm saying is like yo um, have a beautiful rest of the year and then next year just keep going keep going keep getting those habits keep reflecting and one thing that's been helping me a lot lately just to anchor is that you know first 30 minutes of my day no phones last 30 minutes of my day no phone and really spending that consciousness and that attention within myself because the thing the thing about it is right is that a lot of times you already have the answers i feel like the core message that i really want to share is that you already know what you got to do you already know the answers within and with coaching or uh whatever the case might be it's just to draw that out out to yourself so sometimes it's great to like consume content like what you're doing right now just to like get some inspiration get some juices flowing get that high vibe consciousness right but the best thing right is just really like sitting down relaxing tuning into your heart and allowing that energy like that information to come within you and then you already you already brainstorm you already know what's what are the next steps so yeah keep doing that you know like that morning anchor that night anchor has been working a lot for me so hey anyways uh, I think we uploaded around 50 videos on YouTube this year so that's been crazy next year I hope to keep making better content that I feel uh, more passionate about a little bit of artistic injection in it and yeah don't want to make it feel like I am working when I'm uh, creating these videos but it's just really coming from a creative flow state yeah anyways I hope you enjoyed this and I'll catch you next time much love and peace and always sending love to you and your family check out 2020 December 31st 5 19 p.m.